Yeah, I was just totally off with the fairies. I was oblivious to what was going on. I think from memory, the big screen was showing the DRS and it normally has a check Sneeko, but they skipped that step or something. So I thought I had a minute or two and the next minute everyone else around me was jumping up and I was just kind of, what is going on up here? And yeah, it's been replayed basically every day. I've seen a photo of that since. It was only later, because at the time I thought, oh, I've got away with that, surely. Like, only I know that I wasn't ready for that. And then, yeah, I saw the photo, like Twitter and Instagram just blew up when I got off the field, so <laughs> very funny. There's been a couple of times where I've got a wicket and I'm really happy, a little bit surprised that it all came off and my arms just start flailing about. And like, Joshy Hazelwood, Mitch Stark, have given it to me a few times because they're like, what are you doing with your hands? It looks like you're beating a drum or something. And again, I don't really have an answer for them. Oh, that's off the glove, I think. It is! Number nine! Brett Lee was just epitomised a big fast bowling celebration. The big chainsaw into the ground. Love his. Growing up, he used to try and practice his in the backyard. Joshy Hazelwood's pretty good, I reckon, in that a lot of the time if there's an LBW, he'll start celebrating before the umpire's given it. You know, it's just that little nudge that gives the, the umpire no choice but to give it, so he's probably the best one at the moment. I think those first two or three seconds is just like pure emotion. I don't try and choreograph anything too much. And maybe an arm up, a fist pump, that's about as much as I get. A couple of high fives. Oh, right through him. Squared him up, they might have just gone away a little off the seam, but Pat Cummins has made the breakthrough. Mastering the perfect celebration is hard, but switching to Booper is easy. <laughs>